how do you remain an individual in a suit? I spent the afternoon with bona fide rock star Miles Kane to find out. You don't actually look like you've just come off tour, I have don't to say. I? No, you look like you've had some sleep. Look fat and weathered. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know you're a big moisturizer. Oh, I, love, Miles. I love moisturizing. Yeah. <laughs> Keeping the skin nice and soft. Yeah. Is it all right now for men to get pedicures and manicures? Is that something that guys do? I don't see it being an, an issue. Well, in my mind, it wasn't. But then my girlfriend seemed to think yeah. it was, yeah. I was like, quite fancy having a pedicure. She said, don't you dare. <laughs> so that, that sort of stopped me doing that. Is there a certain sense of developing a persona through your clothing on stage? Is that something you've thought about? Yeah, that? definitely. It's like a footy player putting your kit yeah. on or something, you yeah. know what I mean? Or like yeah. a boxer getting ready for a fight. You know, I couldn't go on stage in just a, a T-shirt and jeans. <laughs> I like the, the mystery and the, the thing of surprising people. Mm. But is there anyone in particular that has influenced you, I guess, style-wise? There's, there's loads, you know. Weller's a big one. You know, even the Style Council era, the way yeah. that sort of evolved from the mod thing, it went to a bit more of a sophisticated south of France on a yacht. But I also love, like, Soul and Motown, like the Four Tops and James Brown. And when you're getting in your gear, when any man is getting their gear, who are you dressing for? It, if you're into it, it starts for yourself. Mm. That thing of sort of getting ready for something yeah. excites me. People in Liverpool, whatever style it is, is sure. definitely a, a thing of looking sharp, yeah. you know? Yeah. I remember when I got my first all-black Lacoste tracksuit, yeah. I thought, <laughs> I have made it. <laughs> when did you start wearing suits? Yeah, I'd probably attempted a Julian Casablanca <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I think once I even attempted a hive slot. <laughs> really? <laughs> what, with the white shoes and that? You know, I think I did that. And the white tie, well, yeah. I think, but like a really bad yeah. white tie from probably like Marks and Spencer's. You know, like was, a white guitar. There was like this towel, like this big <laughs> down your neck. Dandies, historically, there's this idea of dressing themselves out of their social situation. I mean, yeah, I think so. Even if you sort of had a, a nine to five, but you were into soul, that's your little escapism yeah. as your identity. It makes you feel excited. Yeah. And that's how I feel. What do you think of these guys leaving the office in the suits? I feel like they should embrace it. Yeah. Do you? Because yeah. a man should be a proud to wear the suit, not just have any old thing that's baggy and doesn't fit right, something that makes you feel sexy and cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like yourself. Thank no. you. Well, yeah. that's one of my best miles. Proud and peacocking, dandies have caught the eye.